NetPM is a private or public cloud-based tool designed to help synchronize the work of a single project across various ETAP workstations or ETAP app devices. NetPM is a web application that can be deployed to a private on-premises server, self-hosted, or a cloud service of your choice. Now let's take a look at NetPM in action. Here we have a project set up to automatically synchronize changes between the project manager on the left and engineer one on the right. Using AutoBuild, engineer one will go ahead and expand this bus and add a few components. Immediately, these changes are reflected in the project manager's project. We can utilize tools existing in ETAP that speed up the creation of the one-line diagram, such as auto-build, templates, and copy-paste data. With this information immediately available, the manager can continue his work without having to wait for the project to be fully submitted. Adjustments that the manager continues to make to the project are also immediately reflected in the client's project. This way, engineers can run their analyses without any delay. Let's now take a look at how ETAP app can also be incorporated into this NetPM environment. Now we'll launch the DataX Manager or ETAP App Manager and create a new publication to be sent to Engineer 3. At this point, we can specify an extension and description to help identify this publication on the mobile device from any iPad, Android, or Windows tablet, we can now launch the ETAP app and log in. Here we find the publication that we just created. We can open up the subnetwork that was sent to ETAP app. Let's try to locate the RTR5 transformer. And with this transformer, let's go ahead and attach an image. If we were in the actual field, we could capture the image, but since we're working from a desktop at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and attach. Let's attach a nameplate. And let's go ahead and send this back to ETAP. Now back over at ETAP on Project Manager's project, we're going to check our Imports tab, and we'll see the uploaded project that directly came from the ETAP app application. Let's go ahead and merge this now into our project. And the DataX Manager will then bring up the Merge and Sync window, where we can specify which uh, modifications we want to accept. So let's accept everything for now. Once the merge is complete, we're going to go ahead and jump back to that data center and locate TR15. And here we have the transformer with the nameplate data attached as a hyperlink image directly submitted to ETAP. We can now take a look at the engineer one's project and observe that the same information has now also been submitted to Engineer 1 automatically. Next, let's consider the scenario that the manager wants to review changes prior to having them merged into the project. For this, let us actually first maximize the manager's project, and let us go ahead and launch the NetPM uh, web interface. Upon doing this from the, the manager's project, um, you will actually be given two um, NetPM queues. One is for the local queue of changes that are stored locally on the PC, and the other is for the NetPM servers queue. We'll notice that in, in either of these pages, you'll have two tabs, one for download and one for upload. Download represents all the changes that are coming into the queue, and upload represents all the changes going out. So for the NetPM server, the download queue represents all the changes coming in from all of the client uh, ETAP users. Similarly, the upload tab will have all of the modifications generated by, by the project manager, um, whether those be the ones that the project manager created themselves or the ones that the project manager has approved from others and is resubmitting to the rest of the team. Let's again take a look at what happens if we approve changes. This time, let's see what happens if we approve the proposed creation of the study cases. So in our study case uh, section of the system manager, we can take a look at load flow. And back in our NetPM queue, 
we can switch over to load flow into the load flow study case, select the proposed change, and this time hit approve. Once approved, the change becomes processed and is submitted into the project. Let's come back to Engineer 1's project. And this time, let's actually simulate uh, a situation in which maybe a large amount of information or elements have been added to the project. Um, and a lot of work has gone in and the engineers um, spent a lot of time to do this. However, he unfortunately forgot to save the project. And at some point, uh, perhaps there is uh, a power outage in which he is unable to, uh, to save the project before the, the system is shut down. And now we can jump back to that, um, that subnetwork, data center subnetwork, and we'll see that the elements that uh, we added prior to the unexpected shutdown are there. And NetPM is going through and correcting all the connections and, and uh, locations of the components according to what it, what it has saved on NetPM server. Let's now take a step back and review the key takeaways. The ability to network and synchronize incremental changes helps improve the project's design validation through seamless collaboration. This naturally boosts project productivity as team members no longer need to sequentially pass project files along at each stage. The built-in log of modifications provides an accessible history of data changes that can be reverted to or recovered from. Server-level administrative tools allow for quick cleanup and management of projects and mobile publications on the network. In short, NetPM is a powerful tool with many benefits for both large teams and individual engineers. Thank you all for taking this time to learn more about ETAP NetPM.